Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you something really cool. So this is a furnace. There is nothing around it. We're in a completely flat world. There's nothing here. Nothing. So I'm just going to burn this log, make some charcoal, and you'll hear a noise. And once it's finished, you'll hear that noise again. It, this is using an underground bud switch. Now, this is a very unique bud switch because it's not behind anything. You can put it right in the open. Now, this isn't just good for using uh, for furnaces. This can be used for some pretty cool things like, I don't know, you could have a tree, put it under that tree, if I can find some bone meal. Um, so you know you'll have tree and then right below it is the bud switch. And that way, as soon as you mine it, there's no uh, no chance of it not going off. You know, as soon as you break that last block, the bud is going to go off. Uh, so now I'm going to be showing you how you make this. And I'm going to be using blue wool. So, to start off, you'll have, I'm just going to build it above ground a bit, so you'll have your floor. And right where you want this to be, you'll place a sticky piston facing down and a block right below it. Then when it extends, that block will be right here and you want a redstone torch to power that block and send a signal into this. From that, you're going to want to take a repeater and bring that signal to the left where you're then going to bring it and take that to a torch that will then connect back to the sticky piston. That's what you get. So you can just disable that really quickly. And now, instead of having it just going like this in a clock, we want to stop it when it thinks it's still powered, or doesn't it, uh, when it is still powered, but it doesn't think so yet. Basically, we're making the bud switch by having another piston blocking that. So. Basically, just take your piston right there and place the redstone down. And you'll see, instead of extending again, this piston will block it for a brief moment before it retracting again, setting the bud switch. And there it is. And then you can have your floor anywhere around it. So this is the only block above ground that is needed, and then all the rest can just be there to conceal this. Now before I leave, I want to mention one person, uh, XRush101. He basically made this uh, a long time before me, and I basically just made a smaller one. Um, so all credit goes to him. It was amazing. That's the first underground bud switch I've ever seen. Um, in addition to that, we're actually going to be making a collaborative collaborative tutorial on a door that he originally made. Um, it's basically a 2x2 two two door that comes out of the ground and it's only one block wide um, above ground. And that includes a button, so it's like this button travels wirelessly in down into the ground and then controls pistons that push these two blocks up. Really, really cool. Um, 
So yeah, that'll be coming up soon. And other than that, thanks for watching.